Well, good day, everyone, and welcome to the Super Talk. Very excited to be here to talk about a very special program. My name is Jay Gonzalez. I'm superintendent of schools for McAllen ISD. I'm here with Mr. Mark May, who is our director for marketing and communications, and we're excited to have some special guests today. We're talking about an awesome program in McAllen ISD, the McAllen ISD Aviation Program. So, Mark, tell us a little bit about the program and introduce <coughs> our special guests. All right, glad to do it, Dr. Gonzalez. Uh, yeah, McAllen ISD's Aviation Program. It's a course titled Practicum in Transportation officially, but it's studying aviation. They have 12 students, all high school seniors. They take their classes in a two-hour block each uh, weekday morning. Then they actually fly the airplanes. That's a common question that comes up. Do they actually fly? Yes, they do. And it's uh, after school or on weekends when they come to the McAllen Airport and do that. Now, at the end of this one-year program, these students can earn their private pilot license and the FFA Remote Drone 107 license, which means you're a drone operator as well. So it's two licenses uh, that they will earn in May. And this saves each student an estimated fifteen dollars to $20,000 if they took these classes as adults or outside of the district. So um, it's a great savings for these kids, and the program's going to expand next year, I know. And this is a big step toward meeting the demands of, of pilots across the world, there's a shortage for pilots. So this is uh, something I know McAllen ISD created uh, to help uh, meet the job demand uh, going forward. Uh, with us today, we have Mr. Hector Zuniga. Uh, he's the instructor in the program, and he's been flying for 37 years since he was 18 years old, or has had his license since he was 18. So he's flying before that and uh, is a certified advanced ground instructor and has been at the McAllen Flight Academy since 2010 and um, is a very experienced pilot and really knows how to, to talk to the kids. And then we have a student here, a 17-year-old Rajin Gaitan. He's from from Nikki Rowe. He's a warrior, and he's also recently signed to join the Navy. So uh, I think these skills he's learning will definitely be a help to him. Those are our guests here for today. Well, Mr. Zuniga, Rajan, welcome, and thank you all for being here. And I'm just so excited to have an opportunity to talk to you about this very special program. So, Mr. Zuniga, tell us, for there's a lot of people across the community and really across the state and across the nation that are very interested in what we're doing in the district. So what is this program like? What is, what is it all about? Well, First of all, it's an honor to be here, and it is an, a great pleasure to be working with the, uh, with the McAllen Independent School District about a pro having a program such as this. And what this program is designed is to take a student who, who doesn't even know what an airplane is, take him from absolute, absolute zero, and basically begin the program with, this is an airplane, this is what a wing looks like, this is where you get on, uh, all the structures of the airplane, all the way to a certification of a private pilot, also as a commercial drone operator, part 107. The big, big, big thing is that this is a very unique program, absolutely unique. There's only about three or four of them in the whole entire United States. As far as I know, in the history of the Rio Grande Valley, this is the only program of its kind that has ever existed. So we are incredibly grateful and very, very lucky and happy to be working this with the district. No, we appreciate you, Mr. Zunig. I know that when we were chalking this up as a school district, uh, we wanted to put a program in place to close the gap with regard to commercial pilots and the need for pilots. And we thought, well, could we start an aviation program? And we looked and we found you and you've just been a blessing for our district. And I know Thank that you, you work doctor. very well with our students. Our students love you. They love the way you, you deliver the instruction. They, they love your patience. And, and although you have all this experience with flying airplanes, you're able to just really come down to basic levels at the beginning and then work students up. So I did want to extend our gratitude to you, sir, for, for just being a tremendous team team member uh, now with McAllen ISD. Awesome. Well, Doctor, it's been an honor to work with you, and it's also been an honor and a distinct pleasure to be working with this group of young men and young women. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I dream of the day that I'm walking on a commercial flight and, and uh, I see Rajan or, or somebody that went through the program to say, hey, I was part of the McAllen ISD aviation program. So, Rajan, tell us, uh, why did you decide to take this course? Uh, well, I wanted to say thank you for the warm welcome, but uh, why I took this course, it was um, it was more so of I was already in CTE before, which is, of course, you know, what takes these extracurricular classes. And I saw aviation and I thought that can't be right. But you know what? Let me sign up for it just in case that looks appealing and it's another option. And I'm the type of person that I like having options. I like being diverse, um, not only with career choices, but just in general. So I thought, you know, this is something I could keep in the back of my pocket. And I hope that there's students out there that are listening to Rajan, and, and you can see that uh, 
that sense of adventure, but that sense of I'm, I'm really to, ready to work hard and, and really chase a dream. And that's what this program exemplifies. It, it, it exemplifies taking what people may have thought was not possible and making it possible. But it takes people like Mr. Zuniga and Ragin to be brave and, and to lean forward into it. So to all the youngsters out there, to all the kids in elementary and, and middle school, and even those in, in, in the earlier grades of high school, in the freshman year, you start looking at this program and, and just know that it's a quality program and it's going to put you in a position to to really transform your entire life as, as you move forward and in, in, uh, in the field of aviation. So, Mr. Zuniga, what is it like? How, how does it work? Do you, do you teach them some some physics, some aerospace engineering or what what goes into before they actually fly the plane? From the very beginning of the program, we begin with the major structures of the airplane, followed by the power plant, propellers. We go down to component level. We tell them this is what a this is what our engine does. This is what a cylinder has. This is what a piston is. This is what the spark plugs do. This is how everything is powered within the power plant of the of the aircraft. We go on to instruments, the the three families of the instruments. We talk, we t uh, we show them how to what information comes from the from the instruments, then we go on to navigation. We call them sectional charts, which are basically navigation charts. We tell them uh, how to get the information out of the charts, how to plan and, and manage the information in the cockpit. From then we go to weather theory, then regulations, and then we go to, uh, we finish the program with uh, what we call cross country planning, which is, uh, this is where it gets exciting because they actually are gonna be able to get and fly with our instructors and then solo uh, at one point in the program into uh, airports that are at least 50 miles away from their from the point of origin. Uh, at the end, we finish the program with basically a major review. We just, they, these uh, students just took their Federal Aviation Administration written exam, which is the official Federal Aviation Administration exam. Uh, happy to report that RJ here um, uh, passed that, pro that, um, that test with absolutely no problem. As a matter of fact, he just about holds the record. He finished the test in under 40 minutes. Wow. So happy to report that this young man here has been pretty much on the ball, I, I would have to say. Well, congratulations, RJ. I mean, we're very, very proud of you, and you're a pioneer for this program. I mean, if you look at the district, we've been in existence for how many years, Mark? Uh, we've been in existence as a district since 1915, so 100 and going on 108 years. So if you look at how long we've been in existence, and, and to Mr. Zuniga's point, this is this is the first time in the history of this district in the, in the RGV that we've given students this opportunity. And, and we do have pilots that, uh, you know, I'm thinking of one individual, Anna King, who was a graduate of our district who now flies for FedEx. Yes, yeah, she's a personal friend. I know her. So she's uh, also a personal friend of mine. So it's it's nice to see what the, what the aviation industry has done for her and her family, and we're looking forward to many more individuals by design uh, going into this field because there there's a big need for it. But uh, R.J., how did you feel the first time that you took off in in the plane? I think the only similar thing I could describe to it is the like the first time on the road. I guess you could say when you're learning how to drive, it's. Uh, it was definitely a new experience. Um, you know, kind of one hand on the on the yoke or the wheel, and just kind of driving with your feet. And when you take off, it's kind of, I think the hard, the harder part's probably on the ground, if I'm honest. Uh, taxiing the plane, which is driving. Um, but I mean, that's I mean, that's the closest thing I can think of. Just first time driving a car, <laughs> first time driving a plane, just with extra steps. Nice. And for kids, and I'm sure there's there's kids that are going to watch a super talk and they're going to say, man, I want to be just like RJ. What what advice do you have for kids right now, let's say that are in middle school that eventually want to get into the aviation program? Um, honestly, it just. I guess you can you can just be studious and be courteous to everyone around you. I mean, just be a good example for people around you. Uh, of course, be open to learn uh, and be open to not know things be open for change because a lot of this program are things I thought I knew. Um, but as Mr. Zuniga said earlier, uh, they work us from zero. So everything that we thought we knew, we didn't. And we just kind of work our way from there and to trust your instincts. It's okay to be nervous, but I don't think you should let that consume you. Does that make sense? So to all the students out there, you've heard RJ, he's going to be a pilot, a private pilot soon. So Make sure that you're getting your work done. Make sure you're being the kind to people. Make sure you're being a hard worker. Make sure that you're being the best student, the best person that you can be because 
Yeah, at the end of the day, when, when it comes to flying airplanes, especially in the commercial industry, you're flying hundreds of people, hundreds of people that love one another, families, husbands, wives, kids, and, and they want somebody that's, that's a, in charge of that airplane that is, is top notch. So that's, that's great advice for our students. So Mr. Zuniga, with regard to the specific benefits of this program and careers, like what, what do these kids' futures look like in this industry once they get this certification and move more toward a commercial pilot license? Well, the first thing and the most important thing, um, this is rather an expensive career. To be a, an airline pilot, you require at least a minimum of 1,500 of hours of flight experience. By the time you get there on certain markers, markets here in the United States, you're looking at well past $100,000 for the whole training. This gives them a, more than a leg up. We're talking about they will save somewhere in the neighborhood about $20,000 per student so that if they want to pursue this, this will be their entry in the aviation world. Once they come out of the program, not only are they going to be certified pilot by the Federal Aviation Administration, but this is step one into a career. They already saved twenty thousand if they if they manage to get a scholarship later, or if they or, or if they if, if they decide to continue their training, they are already about twenty five percent to uh, to an airline career thanks to this program, and it gives them the um, the main thing. The my main takeaway from this program is that they it, it makes them realize that. This is available to me. I can do this. It is. I don't have to be. Um, I don't have to be a nuclear engineer in order for me to get this. I don't have to be a, a, to have a 200 IQ. I don't have to be. Um, I don't have to be rich to do this. My main takeaway from this program with these, these absolutely great students of the, that the district uh, has gifted me with, is that these students have gone way above and beyond the call. They uh, they make themselves available in the afternoons. They come every weekend to fly with us. And also, for example, on their Christmas break, every day of their Christmas break, they were at the airport flying with us every single day. Uh, we're just about to log our 300th hour of flight since we started the program. We, we're already on the way out, on, on the way down. These guys, uh, they already took the, uh, the written exam. Uh, we're going to start prepping them for their oral examination soon. And the main, 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 main thing for me this is a, a very good step one into getting into the world of aviation, which can literally, the demand is so high and they can take them all over the world. So to all the parents and all the students out there, know that we have a quality instructor, one of the best in the nation that's going to teach your kids how to fly if you get into this program. Know that McAllen ISD prides itself in being on the cutting edge of innovative programs and this aviation program is a prime example of that. And we're blessed because we have a student body that's very hardworking. We're a very high-performing school district. We're an A-rated school district. We have students that have grit. We have students that have resiliency. We have students that don't feel sorry for themselves. We have students that don't make excuses. We have students that understand that life isn't fair. And we have students that will outwork and outthink you. So when you couple that kind of student and that kind of spirit with an aviation program like we're offering at McAllen ISD, the sky is literally just there's no barrier so i encourage you i encourage you to look into the aviation program and we were even talking earlier as an administration in finding ways to bring this down to the elementary and the middle school through some type of flight simulators that'll start to get kids warmed up to the processes of flying but i just want to encourage everybody to take a good look at this program and all the other programs that McAllen isc offers so mr zuniga RJ, I want to thank you all very much for taking part in the Super Talk today. Uh, thank you for, for choosing to serve our country, RJ. That's that's very admirable. My pleasure. Uh, Mr. Zuniga, thank you, sir. I mean, not only you're a great instructor, but you're a great person. And, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, doctor. I do appreciate the opportunity. Now, we appreciate you. So to all those out there looking into the aviation program, we hope that this Super Talk was beneficial, and we hope that it sparked some interest in you all. So you all have a blessed day.